you know that the Luminous Mysteries were inspired by a dude who used to be a satanic priest? Bartolo Longo was born into a Catholic family, but after his mom passed away, he went off the rails. He even became a legit satanic priest and promised his soul to a demon. As you might imagine, being a satanic priest is um, not great for your mental health. So Bartolo started having paranoia and anxiety and began having demonic visions frequently. Then this Catholic guy, Professor Vincenzo Pepe from Bartolo's university started meeting with him frequently about his psychological state. He then convinced him to start talking to a Dominican priest. And if you've ever met a Dominican priest, I mean, it's all over at that point. You will be destroyed with facts and logic in the most charitable way. So naturally, he jumped back into the Catholic swing of things. After his reversion, Bro pulls up to a seance, carrying an image of Mary in his hand, and screams out in front of all of his old satanic homies, frick this evil stuff, I love Jesus now. I'm paraphrasing, this is what he actually said. So he was converted now, but he was still dealing with this despair because he had consecrated his life to Satan before. And then he remembered this quote from the Blessed Virgin Mary that the Dominican had told him, one who propagates my rosary shall be saved. So then, falling on his knees, he cries out, I'm, uh, I'm paraphrasing again. He then became what a lot of people call the Apostle of the Rosary. And I mean, he was repping that thing wherever he went and he came to learn the Lord's forgiveness. Then he started dabbling in meditating on the totality of the life of Christ, not just the three sets of mysteries that they had at the time. And he started writing about it. Many years later, after Bartolo had passed on, JP2 saw these writings and said, first, beatify this dude right now. And second, I like these writings and I think I'm gonna drop a new set of mysteries. And now we have the Luminous Mysteries.